So ChatGPT, what is a cold email? A cold email is an unsolicited email sent to a recipient who you have had no prior relationship or connection with. So this actually ties beautifully to the last video that I released titled Mastering Cold Calling in 2024. If you haven't had a chance to check out that video, I would highly recommend it. But cold email is another way of getting in front of prospects if you are trying to land a meeting as a business development representative or an account executive. My first uh, key to success is to know your stats. And I'm not just saying from that day or even from that week, but know your stats over the course of the last month over month. One of my favorite quotes by Peter Drucker is, what gets measured gets managed. So if you don't know your baseline or your starting point, if you will, you can't improve on it. So that's why looking into your sales engagement platform, whether that's like outreach or whether that's sales loft, look into, okay, over the last quarter, what has been my open rate, my click rate and my reply rate. So what do those three topics even mean? So an open rate is basically the percentage of the emails that get delivered to the prospects that you are currently uh, prospecting to via a sequence or a cadence. So meaning if let's say you send out, let's say 12 emails, maybe 10 of them actually get delivered to the recipient. And out of those 10 that get delivered to the recipient, maybe four of them actually opened your email. Well, if four out of 10 people opened your email, that's a damn good email. So I did some research on what is considered a really good open rate. And research shows that average open rates for open email campaigns typically range between 15 to 25%. Good rates range about 25% if not higher. And then excellent open rates are above 30%. The next one is click rate. So what is click rate? A click rate is basically over the course of the emails that you might be sending out to a prospect, do you have links? that a prospect could click into. Why are links important? For a prospect that maybe has never heard of your company or your product or your service, maybe having some resources such as landing pages from your website, case studies, uh, anything that might allow them to just get better context around what you're providing them. A lot of the times people like to do their own research on the back end before reaching back out or responding back to a salesperson. So, it's a marathon, not a sprint. If you provide them with uh, really good resources to click into and to do some deeper research, it does allow them to be a little bit more open-minded for when you do finally get a hold of them. The last key metric to track when it comes to your emails is the reply rate. So out of all of the emails that get delivered, what percentage of them are actually getting a reply of some sort, whether it's, hey, I'm ready you know, to meet up or I'm not interested, or here's a, an excellent person to reach out to just because this isn't in my scope of work. All right, let's get practical. We're gonna go ahead and dissect an email, a cold outreach email that I received. Nice little subject line, question for Brie Galarza. Four, four words, a question for Brie might've been a little bit better, a little more direct. Why is my last name in there? Sounds like someone was using a token. Well, hey Brie, I hope you're having a great day so far. Edith, a great day so far. This email came in at friggin' three in the morning. What kind of day do you think I'm having, Edith? I <laughs> like what you're doing with your YouTube channel. To be truthful, you probably deserve and want a bigger audience. Okay, a little personalization in there. I mean, could be a little generic, but hey, if it's true, love, love the fact that you landed at my channel. My team and I have taken a look at your channel and we're very confident that we can help you get a thousand subscribers within 90 days. All right, so that's more of a desire plug right there. Uh, so curious, on the next part here, it says the best part is if we don't deliver, you don't pay. We work 100% pay on result basis. So if you don't get results, we don't get paid. Okay, I love that. Cute little 30 day money bag guarantee. Sounds like it. So that's a little bit more on the desire, the value of this email. By the way, this isn't some automated email. I'm a real human. Edith, are you really? 
I recorded a quick video to introduce myself so you can see I'm not blasting you from some software. Cute little haha -ha in there. He is white. Why do you look like a man? He looks like a gentleman in the bottom left hand corner there. We've helped 30 plus clients get 2,000 subs. Who's, who's Toby? Couldn't tell you. Is there like a link that I could clink into? Who's Toby? How did he get 1,000 subs and beyond? What is beyond? So many questions here. I would love the opportunity to learn more about your channel and YouTube goals. Okay, would you be interested in a call this week so we can discuss? I mean, not bad, not bad close. I, I would need a little bit more context to how they've helped out people like myself in the past. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, Dennis, wait, Dennis. I thought this was Edith and then followed up with a bump email at the very bottom there at again, 3.36 in the morning. No, Edith, AKA Dennis. I did not get a chance to look at the video I sent, nor will I be clicking on that. And that my friends is the Ada framework to help increase your opens, clicks, and replies. Follow for more business development baby tips. I'll catch you next time.